All right, so if we are gonna be having stateful functions, we are gonna need a variety of different patterns for uh, setting up uh, different kinds of serverless workloads. Let's take a look at them. The first is function chaining. So this is the pattern of executing a sequence of functions in a specific order. Often the output of one function needs to be applied to the input for another function. Uh, dur durable functions allow us to implement this pattern concisely in code. Then you have fan out, fan in. So th is, this is a pattern of executing multiple functions in parallel and then waiting for them all to finish. Fanning out can be completed with normal functions by having the function send multiple messages to a queue. Fanning in is much more difficult because we have to write code to track when the queue triggered functions and, and store functions output. The durable function extension handles this pattern with relatively simple code. We have async HTTP API. So this pattern addresses the problem of coordinating the state of long running operations with external clients. A common way to implement this pattern is to have an HTTP call trigger the long running action, then redirect the client to status endpoint. Then they can pull to learn when operation, when the operation is complete. Durable functions provide built-in APIs that simplify the code we write for interacting with long running function executions. The monitor pattern refers to a flexible recurring process in a workflow, such as pulling until certain conditions are met. A simple scenario such as a periodic cleanup job can be addressed with a regular time trigger but it is interval, uh, but its intervals fix making managing instance lifetime difficult. Durable functions enables flexible recurrence intervals, task lifetime management, and the ability to create multiple monitor process from a single orchestration. Uh, a little bit more here. So we have human interaction. So many automated processes involve some form of human interaction. Humans are not always available and responsive as cloud services, which makes invoking humans in an automated process tricky. So automated process must uh, uh, must allow for this, and they often do so by using timeouts and compensation logic. Uh, then we have aggregators, so stateful entities. This pattern is about aggregating event data over a period of time into a single addressable entity. The data being aggregated may come from multiple sources, be delivered in batches, or may be scattered over long periods of time. The aggregator may need to act on event data as it arrives external clients may need to query the aggregator data. So there you go.